All right. And I think that makes me done with all of my closing tasks. Did you need any help with yours? No, I... I mean, I'm not trying to get out early. Really. I just... I kind of want to take a dip in the pool. And I don't want to drive home too late. So if you don't need me up here, I might sneak on back while you finish up and just do a quick few laps. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't get a chance to go today. And you know how I get if I don't swim at least like once every few days, I get all itchy inside and I just need to get out in the water. You don't mind? You're the best. Oh yeah, I mean, you're right. I would have had time to do it at my lunch break, but the thing is, I kind of need an empty pool to do it. <laughs> yeah. I forgot my swimming suit. I know, I know, I should always have it, but like, it's been cold outside and I haven't been wanting to keep my suit in the car and I took it inside to clean it and then I just forgot to bring it back outside after it was wet and I didn't want it to freeze in the car anyways so yeah so I don't have a swimming suit so I need an empty pool to go swimming for obvious reasons I didn't want to catch a charge <laughs> shock all the old ladies <laughs> well me doing laps with my buns out <laughs> and I'm not just talking about my hair bun because of course I wear a swimming cap like I've got that you know I've got my goggles I've got my swim cap I keep them in my locker but like no suit <laughs> I mean, I've learned my lesson, okay? And I've thought about it. I've thought about, like, Amazon one-day delivery, just having them deliver a, a suit to the gym. And I looked at it, and I could have done it, but the I'm really trying to stay away from Amazon right now. Yes, I mean, one-day delivery is probably not the best idea for the environment. And when I can just wait, until nobody's in the pool and then just dive my little nude buns in. That seems like the environmental choice to skinny dip, right? Are you going to tell me I'm wrong? Do you want me to destroy the environment so I don't have to skinny dip? <laughs> now you are not a friend of the planet. No, you're not. You're being completely ridiculous right now. I am an environmental warrior, okay, and <laughs> skinny dipping is my platform to display alone with nobody watching my commitment to our planet, okay? Leave me alone in this, all right? I'm, I'm grandstanding on this platform. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> What? You want to join? I just told you I won't be wearing a swing suit. You think... There are two pools, okay, and we can always... I mean, are you really going to do laps in that other pool? No, I don't. We can put up, like, a lane line ha halfway between the pool, and I can stand my half, and you can stand your half, and... I can, like, close my eyes when you can get in, and you can close your eyes when I get in, and under the water, everything looks all weird anyways, so, okay, all right, well, are you done with your work, because it's getting late, and I really don't want to get home too late, and I need to get, I need to get some swim time in, okay, you promised me you're going to close your eyes when I get in, right? Deal? Deal. <laughs> I mean, what's a little skinny dipping between friends anyways? <laughs> Ugh. 
Yeah, I'm already in. I've got my eyes closed. You can come in. <laughs> yeah, just tell me if, when you're in the pool, okay? I don't... <laughs> it feels weird to have my <laughs> hand over my goggled eyes. And I can't really tread water with <laughs> one arm that well. <laughs> you should have waited until I was in the shallow end. Are you in? Because I'm going to drown. <laughs> Okay, good. Hey, over there. <laughs> you stay over there, okay? You swim in your own lane. <laughs> All right, well, let me get back to it.